Yo, what's good? I'm Josh. Welcome to the video. Just last week, I put together a hyper pop punk song. I wish I never fall for you. My goal by the end of this video is for you to have all the knowledge that you need to make hyper pop punk type beats. First, we're gonna talk about the instruments. The number one thing you should be thinking about in these hyper pop punk type beats is replicating guitar sounds with synths. That's exactly what I did right here with this synth guitar. What this is doing is just playing chords using the one and the five of the scale. And this creates what's called in guitar a power chord, which is something that's really commonly used in punk and rock type music. As far as sound design goes, I used a serum patch with a square wave, an LFO in the octave set to trigger in four bars. That's what's making it do that little video game type pitch up sound at the beginning. For the effects, we got a little bit of hyper dimension, a little bit of distortion and compression, and then a little EQ to clean it up. I pan them left and right to make them really wide to where the vocal sits in the middle. Also did a little bit of this delay offset just to make it even wider. I also made the detune setting a little bit different from the left and the right one. Next layer we got is a mid type bass. What I did was just play the bass of the chords and then apply this trash plugin, the elastic trash setting with the mix down to a 37.3, then a little bit of EQ to clean it up. After I did this, I just bounced it to audio. Next we have the sub layer. This is just a basic sine wave, a little bit of hyper dimension, a little bit of distortion, a little bit of multiband compression, then some saturation on it to beef it up a little bit. After that, we got the lead sound. With this, I was trying to replicate what a guitar player would do, but with a synthesizer, and here's what I got. Now this sound is actually the same as the guitar chords from earlier, just EQ'd a little bit differently, and then with some soothe on there, just to control the harshness. All those together sound like this. After that, we've got the drums. Here's what those sound like. First, we got the kick, just a little Sophie kick. Then I added this DS10 drum shaper just to turn down the sustain and give it a little bit of soft clip. And then a little bit of EQ to take out some of the clickiness. I also pitched it to be in the key of the song. Then we got the snare. Also pitched to be in the key of the song. Got a little bit of soothe to controlling the harshness, little altar boy, a little bit of drive, and then pitch down three to fit better in the track. Then this DS10 drum shaper, increasing the sustain a little bit and a little bit of soft clip. Then slight reverb just to put the sound in a space. Then we got the hats. A little bit of drive and then pitch down and four minute down. And then just the typical crash. We also have a couple of effect sounds that help us transition from one section of the song to the next. No sound like this. Oh yeah, that's it right there. Lastly, we've got the vocals. We got our lead layer. Cause I hate who you've turned me into. Got a little Melodyne to correct the pitch. And then some Metatune just to tighten it up a little bit. RX voice denoise to take out some room noise. And then little Alter Boy with a mix knob around 25%. Just adding a pitched up four minute layer to the vocal. Then we got some dubs and then some extra harmonies just to beef it up. We also have some reverbed out delay throws just adding a little bit of ambience. <laughs> Virtual mix rack, just compressing it. Then we got isotope trash, doing some gentle push saturation. And then another instance of trash, doing some distortion with this blues driver preset with the mix pretty low. Little bit of DSing with the Fab Filter Pro DS. Fresh air, adding some crispiness to the top end. More EQ, taking out some of the mud. And then some EQ, taking out some harsh frequencies in the mid range. Another EQ, taking out some more harsh frequencies. Another DSer. And then this Rezo plugin, just gently taking out some of the resonant frequencies. And here's what the vocals sound like together. I wish I never fell for you. Cause I hate who you've turned me into. Then we got some basic mastering going on. Just this FGX on the mastering hard preset. A little bit of soothe, mixed down to 25%. Then ozone with just some basic limiting just to kind of boost the loudness just a little bit. And that, my friends, is how you make a pop punk hyper pop song. And if you've taken all these steps, it should sound a little something like this. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subs by the end of the year. Also, if you have any video ideas or any ways that I can improve the content, let me know in the comments. Regardless of anything, y'all keep bobbing and making dope music. I'll see you next time. Love you.